Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I'm here in Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm here to help out with the new school barbecue class this weekend. So uh, very happy to be invited back to uh, just kind of help out the class, meet new people, uh, meet some old friends again. I know I've already made, I think I've already made two videos about the new school barbecue class, but uh, I think it's always just fun to kind of see you you know how things kind of change over time but yeah i don't really have any plans other than to uh help out with this class but uh yeah i want to bring you guys along for the ride and uh hopefully you guys enjoy it i still think that uh the pho that don and then make is like some of the best Welcome to Austin, Texas. Come for the barbecue, stay for the traffic. I haven't been on 35 in like two months. weekend and we also have some other friends that have been in our class before and who have also just kind of been um, you know hanging out and we know through the barbecue uh, just community in general 
which is a great one, and which is one that now you guys are all part of. right here. Perfect. You just take that out. You can use this in sausage, boudin. Uh, I'm pretty sure people need this all to show you how healthy the hog is. It's a good looking kidney. You can break these really wherever you want. Uh, if you do use these, it's best too to cut through the skin and muscle as much as you can and use this on the bone, not for the whole thing. Really just take it down with stuff like this, and if, I mean, if we're trying to cook whole hog. Part of the idea of what we're trying to do here is butcher for barbecue and take the lessons and skills and ideas of butchery and breaking things down to make them cook easier and better but do that specifically for the barbecue pit so yeah. we'll take all that stuff and just like use those ideas and then just stop right before they stop servicing us then uh, you guys will see here too this is like kind of that pork ribeye pork chop right here and it runs all the way down sausage keep on the ham find our meat Add the correct amount of fat and the correct fat. Eating stuff in the long strips feeds easier into the grinder and it doesn't make it work as hard. And so just one more step into helping keep the meat cold. The first cut that you make off of your fatty, right? We'll separate the brisket here and we carve it. Cut these first pieces. This is going to be your burn ends, your best slices, your most prized, most marbled, most delicious crusted piece of meat. Exactly where the fat cap is and how thick it is. Also trying to like press down a little bit because when I press down it'll kind of make the meat push out a little bit and I can get a little bit of a cleaner cut on it. Uh, but before I start actually trimming it, I kind of like to like step back and take a snapshot of like what am I actually going to trim and what parts are I need to focus on. Ooh. Again, using the cutting board as a, as a kind of flat surface, I'm going to take off a little bit more. Here, the bridge from where the mohawk was. Or actually, that's not where the mohawk was. No, sorry, but that bridge in the middle. This part right here? Yeah, you're not worried about that. No, because like when we first took off that initial cut, we I, that's why it's like we were trying to find where it meets, and I'm just taking that entire side and just kind of like taking that. Slashed aggressively like this. So it almost teaches you like where to cut. We're just gonna follow the cut that's already been made in the cheek. That's gonna go to barbacoa. Find the angle, hold the meat, and firmly cut in a straight line because these are hard to cut through, even if your knife is super sharp. We do need to press down pretty well here because it's kind of hard to cut through that fascia, but that's really it. Trim a cheek is pretty simple. Okay, who wants to trim a cheek? To isolate this muscle and then just remove this little bit of fascia and then you're going to clean up that isolated muscle. It's real tough. Yeah, it's hard to cut through. Even that knife, I mean, Pat sharpened it before we started today, so they're really sharp, but it's hard to cut through. Flip it over. That's great. That looks good, like a good cheek. Yeah, a little bit there and a little tiny bit there. That's it. Great job. It's good looking cheek. Who's next? First part of the class is done. Now we're getting ready to make the dinner. I'm in the prep kitchen with. Hello, oh, man. What are you making? You got your sausage. We got sausage, we've got cheese enchiladas, we've got chicken enchiladas, we've got rice and beans to make. Uh, I've got an old school style sausage, like very similar to like what you find in Lockhart. So kind of close to Kreitz or Smitty's. And then I have a style of chorizo that's like cased in the same way. Should be good. And making the fish con ribs for the class. Since we're gonna be making a new batch, I'm gonna throw some of this. What is it? This is your chicken demi, right? I'm gonna add some of their uh, chicken demi to the uh, sauce to uh, make it a little bit better. Hold up that one piece right there. This is a bacon. It's a bacon. Okay. <laughs> See how all these freaking camera angles you have to do to just make it look like I know how to cook? And then somebody walks right in front of them. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. That's really good.
darken is kind of what we call it and then fold that entire thing in half again and then just start crimping out and crimping around when we're doing that we want to make sure that the little end is going to stay covered up crimping out always crimping out making sure that we are coming up above Oh uh, yeah, just conducting some uh, conversation Finish? about customers. Yeah, we have sold out. Hey, sold out. Oh, bo bo sold out. What up, Joe? <laughs> My friend, one of each, uh, two of each. Yeah, yeah. One of each. One of each. Yes, sir. You are awesome. Man, you got a big portion. Oh, I kind of <laughs> went crazy on that one. Yeah. Double beans, single beans. Uh, just uh, double beans. Double beans. Hello, yeah, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Cole will take care of you. This chorizo and then uh, two pieces of old school. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We're also going to grind in some ice. Just part of our emulsion. It's going to make it nice and juicy. Make the sausage nice and juicy. And then you can hang them like that. So the barbecue journey has been interesting to say the least and ending up standing right here. But uh, that's a cool part about talking to all you guys. Everyone has a, a different path and different backgrounds, whether you're a teacher or you know, a business. You know, I went to school for audio engineering with him and we both ended up doing this. It's a steak weight at this point, you know what I mean? It's light pressure. Oops. 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 Oh, no great spots on this steak. <laughs> the best part is, too, that steam. It's like an yeah. awesome, getting that turbulence. Maybe, I don't know. Hey man, Where's my beer? you know how many times I say things on YouTube that I'm not even sure if that's true, you but it camera, sounds good. You gave me a camera, me, I'm gonna start saying shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, medium. That'll yeah. work. Okay, if we're looking so. towards here, number one, it's like dark around <laughs> the edges. It's just kind of thick. There's a wart. <laughs> but you put it on this side, it's like boom, beautiful torrent. Yeah, man. I'm a tattoo, yeah. Where's the entrance? Yeah. That's a 
chilies. I meant to bring my white boy chopsticks. <laughs> the tweezers. That's the tweezers. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're doing this review like we did last time. Walking, walking out of the review. Predictions last time. All right, <laughs> the bear's gonna have a heart attack. That's my prediction. All right. So my prediction is that they will save it and send it to a rehabilitation facility <laughs> for drug addicted bears. Perfect. Intervention. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, with this video, it was kind of scattered just because I was trying to vlog everything that I could. Uh, in the last couple of days. So hopefully you enjoyed just eating some barbecue, showing some behind the scenes of the Bruin Lewis class. Also some of the stuff behind the scenes at the Chud Shop and you know, just everything that's going on. Um, I think there's a lot of cool things that are happening behind the scenes and it's just really fun to kind of watch everything slowly develop, um, especially as um, you know, Evan and Sawyer start to get the brick and mortar open and as Brad just opened his new shop, I'm currently actually staying um, upstairs on top of the shop where he's going to hopefully be um, hosting some classes and things like that. Every single time I come to Austin, it's just such a, you know, inspiring time for me to figure out what I want to do with this YouTube channel as well. And just seeing, <clears throat> you know, kind of like barbecue evolve in just different ways um, is really cool to see. And I'm really glad that uh, I can bring you guys along for the journey. And I know people who will allow me to film stuff like this. But with all that kind of keeping up with everything I'm doing here and also trying to keep up with the um, filming schedule and all that kind of stuff. Just to let you guys know, this video that you're watching right now is currently being edited a couple hours before the upload time. And I'll show you the date just to prove it. So here's the video that I'm making right now. And as you guys can see, yeah, we're, uh, we're a little tight right now, but we're gonna get this done. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, a lot of cool stuff going on. I got a couple videos that I'm excited to upload soon. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to like. Uh, if you're new to this channel, we got quite a few subscribers after that live chat. Uh, appreciate you guys joining. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends. Um, till then, I'll see you guys in the next one.